this video we are going to understand all the type of validation that serializer provides us and then we are going to co code all the type of validation and see how does the validation occurs and how does it save our life then we are going to understand the order of validation because this is a very new part and i don't think that anyone has teach this in detail so i'll be going in detail and, and telling you how does the order of validation occur and then we'll under, write the code and understand the order of the validations okay so now let's understand all the validation that serial has provided us the first one is validators second is field level validation and third is the object level validations let's understand the syntax of an example of well, these all three type of validations the first one is validators so the syntax of this is validators is equal to function name so it can have multiple function inside this for example for example we have name as a field which is serial as a care field and we want that the name should always start with the s only so we'll create a function name start with s and we'll write a logic over there and apply the validators over here okay this is the validators and then then there is a field level validation and so the syntax is def validate this is the always constant term underscore whatever the field name is for example def validate underscore name okay and inside this function we can write a business logic over here and third is the object level validation the syntax is def validate self comma data an example is same def validate self comma value this value or data whatever you called it will be a always a dictionary which will have all the data inside it okay so let's understand this all level, all validations in the code so let's go back to our ide so we are back to our favorite ide visual studio code so as we have uh, as you can see we have defined a model serializer over here which has a two field name and role uh, we don't need to specify the field over here because we are specifying the field over here because we need to apply the validators okay so let assume that we want that the name character should not be greater than 10 as we can see that we have specified max length 100 over here but we want that the length should not be greater than 10 in the both name and role case okay so let's define a function for that so um, function would be character character less than 10 always define a function with the proper valid name so that the people can understand what the function is about okay so we have defined a function so we need to write a logic so if length of value is um, greater than 10 then we need to throw an error so let raise the serializer dot validation error over here and let um, output the message message would be value cannot be greater than 10 okay so whenever um, the character would be greater than 10 then this error would be occur but to uh, tell the serializer that uh, to use this function we have to specify the validator it always uh, as over here because it can have multiple function in it and we will pass the function name over here we will do the same thing for the role field also validators and ok so we have specified the um, validators over here so let's test this out so we will go to the postman okay and we are in the create entry it's a post method so we'll be creating some entry over here and as you can see that it's a normal entry over here it's tsunami let's hit a send button so it's working properly it's getting created so if you want to test the character we have to throw more error uh, character over here i'm counting it but i'm assuming that it will be greater than 10 so let's hit a send button and as you can see that the name the value cannot be greater than 10 so the validator is working properly okay so this is the validators so now we will be writing the code for field level validation okay so def um, validate it always remain constant validate over here now we have to specify the field it's a name field it will take two arguments self is by default and value is a second field okay now we want that and always the name should start with s okay so for that what we'll do if value of zero since it's a character we can use a zero is not equal to s character then we'll throw an error because we love s character so raise um serializer dot validation error that value should value should always start with s okay if it does then we'll by return it properly okay 
So now let's test this thing. Um, we'll bring the character to less than ten. Let's start with something else like um, Duma Dumi. I don't know why. And let's hit, and the error is coming. The value should always start with character S. Now we understood the what are the different types of validation. Let's understand the order of validations over here. So let's uh, assume that we have the two field, name field and role field. Okay, and all the field have validators, field level validation and object validation. So all the field have different types of validations. So so whichever the field is written first, the validation will start from there. So in our case, there is a name field which is written first. So the name field first will start validators. So the validators of name field will run. Then the field level validation of name field will run. Then it will directly go to the role field. In the role field, that role field validators will run first. Then the field level validation. Then at the end, object level validation will run. Okay. So if you have, I mean, I think you might have got a fair bit of an idea with the um, diagram over here. So to understand deeply, let's go to code and uh, and print statement and understand it. So let's remove the validations for now, and. Let's print the um, value over here. Let's write um, validators. Okay, so we'll understand which validator we are running over here and return the value. Okay, and then name part, what we'll do, we'll come over here and print um, name, validate name. Okay, and for the same part, we'll do for the role also. For the role, what we'll do? We'll write role and validate role over here. Okay, so we have written all the um, print statement over here. Let's write validate also over here. Okay, so we have done the all the uh, print statement over here. Let's create one entry. So we'll come to know how does it work properly. So we'll come over here and do the send and the entry has been created. Let's go to and understand. So as we can see over here, tsunami validator. Tsunami is the name field. It is gone gone over here. Then it has gone to the validate name, so it has come to the field level validation of this. Okay. Then again, it has gone to twenty one validators, so it has come over here twenty one validators. So again, it has gone to the validators. Then again to the field level validation validate role. Then at the end, it has come to the normal validate dict dictionary over here. So as you can see, it is following the same path we see uh, we saw in the diagram. First, it go to the uh, name validator. The field level validation, then role validators, and field level validation, and then to the object level validations. So this is the um, order in which the validation occurs. So I I think I have covered the uh, validation in a deep over here. We have gone through the different type of, type of validation. We have coded the validation, and we have understood the order of validations. So if you found this video any bit of helpful, so please press the like button, comment your thought. Share it with your friend and subscribe to my channel because it keeps motivating me to make such videos for you. So till the next video, take care.